Talking, we are back. Oh, Look like we here. <laughs> Listen, oh. man, it's the Free Jazz Podcast, episode sixty nine. You know what I'm saying? Sixty nine. Episode, episode six nine. No, no shout outs to six nine though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, he, he is making headlines though while we at it. But uh, man, episode sixty nine, bro, we here. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's going on, man? It's Father's Day. Happy it's, Father's yeah, Day to happy, everybody. Happy Father's Day, even though it's not gonna be Father's Day when it's dropped. Feel oh me? yeah, it's not gonna be Father's Day it's when it's dropped. Ha- it's right. Happy belated. I mean, belated Juneteenth. Feel me? Oh yeah, yeah facts. Juneteenth tomorrow. It's active. Yeah, this is it's, it's nice. Me. Active two days back yeah. back to back. I was just at Six Flags yesterday uh, with Lego. With Lego, my son. Yeah, I don't know, but I was with, uh, with Lego That's at Six Flags. Uh, P- yo, it's and it's funny. You you be with Lego on the Ferris wheels, and I know you hate heights. Yo, bro, terrified. I know you terrified. <laughs> I, I, know, yo, I know you so well. I'm like, yo, bro, yo, I'm like this. I'm he's, stiff, and he's up walking around. I'm like, yo, my man's. Yeah, I know it's not that kind of function. I, Sit down. He, but he, but he's the type to get up there at the tippy top and start jumping. Like. Yo, literally, no, no, no. He literally jumps. He sits on. He sits up on the seats. Thank God these things have cages, and he holds on to the cages like. I'm like, yo, my man's. He's fearless. <laughs> He's really. <laughs> He's fearless. And I'm panicking. Like, yo, if you go over that, but that's you. I, the thing like, is, I ain't I, doing nothing. You, I can't help I, you, game. I know you. I know yo, you was bro. up there panicking. I know, so, you, I know so, you had the cold sweats up there. The, the only thing is, I, I got lucky, though, because I don't really like six flags like that. Because I'm, I'm really, I'm terrified of heights. That's why, so, I, That's why. no, wait, hold your point, hold your point. Go ahead. That's why I don't like, that's why I don't like going to six flags, because none of my friends love height. Like, like roller coasters. It's I'll a get roller on, coaster park. I'll get on. Nah, we went to right, six flags that one time you're right, you're right, with you. Right. And I got on yeah, everything yeah, I got you're on. You're there, you're there, you're there. Except for I told you, Kinder Cow was out of. Uh, that's not happening. Kinder Cow not happening. I'm good yeah, off we, that. We, we went. Uh, that's the last time I went was uh, Fright Fest. That yeah, was, that was, that was like 2016, 2017. That yeah, 2017. Like 2017. Fact. 2017 Fright Fest. But um, <laughs> and neither here nor there. The 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 best part is, see, my son's too short, so we can't even get on a roller coaster. So I'm gonna <laughs> order. I'm gonna order Kitty Teacup roundabouts. Uh, I'm on a. I'm yeah. on a, a Ferris wheels. You feel me? I'm chilling. I'm vibing. I had a Great old time. You I'm feel me? You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. The, 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 I'm good. He's, he's on the um he's under forty two he's under thirty he's under forty two inches. Yeah, like most so most rides is forty two to forty eight inches. You gotta be four feet. Feel me? He's uh, at like thirty seven, thirty eight inches. You, so you, he's wanna, valid. you wanna keep you wanna Teacup ride, you yeah. want you want the um, yep. the mouse ride, uh huh, yep, yep, <laughs> the Very mouse roller coaster. Ha- proudly, proudly, <laughs> proudly, and I'm good. Maybe next year. Maybe you want, next you year. You want the ship? Yep. No, we got on the baby ship. We ain't get on the big ship. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you got on uh, the ship with tra- training wheels. Yeah, exactly. Basically, okay. <laughs> bro, and I'm and I'm fine and dandy with that because I'm good off that. I don't want to. I don't want. I see. I, I gotta like act tough once he wants to get on that. I gotta yeah, be like, yeah, come on, let's go. And then you're I, be, yeah, you gonna be short circuit. Like, yeah. <laughs> you good now, but yeah, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm, right, I'm, right, guys. Yeah. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. <laughs> but um, man, it's been it's been a whole lot of news going on. Oh, oh, we got a time. We got a we got a quick you know timeout. Oh, I see him right there. Oh, yeah. Quick timeout. Somebody left their keys in the stoop, and that is all right. We gonna make sure they get home. <laughs> yeah, we got Rocco. Shout out Rocco. Yeah, me. shout out to Rocco in the cut. Shout out to Marv. You just seen our producer Marv. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be thinking he's a ghost, but he's a real person. Yeah, yeah. I promise. Marv's the producer. He's a real shout person. Baby Studios and all that. But um, yeah, man, it's been a, it's been a crazy, crazy oh, last couple of days week. of news, yeah. bro. Crazy so week. we got We got to talk about it. We got the YNW Melly trial. Oh. You know what I'm saying? That's been going on. And um, for that who don't know, YNW Melly was the uh, rapper. He was real, real popular in like 2017, 18. Yeah, um, he, he's from Florida. Yeah, he's from he, Florida. His biggest uh, song is probably the, when he got a feature with Kanye West. They did that song, Mixed Personalities. Mixed Personalities. What, I, I, about, I think Murder on My Mind is bigger than that now. Yeah, you're right. Murder on My Mind was big, but it's just the look that he got a Kanye West feature. At the time, Kanye wasn't dropping shit at that time yeah, either. Yeah. It was like for Kanye to come jump on this little this little 19-year-old kid's song from Florida. It was crazy. You know what I'm saying? And that Kanye actually went out his way to go find him. Like Kanye went and reached out, went to go find him and said, no, I'm not doing this video. He said, I'm not doing this song unless we're doing a video. Like Kanye did that. You know what I'm saying? That's Dope, like you know what I'm saying. That's an, that's an unheard of. You're not gonna get that. There's no way you can get a Kanye feature. You can't pay for a Kanye feature. You can't. No. It's like a Drake feature. You can't pay for that. It just gotta happen. Just like hope, hope. So yeah, he like, don't charge for you can't pay he for jumps whole on songs feature. he wants to. Exactly. If he sees a song he wants, he'll jump on. So it. neither here nor there. So Melly is accused of killing his two best friends. We spoke on this before in a couple. Sa- of yeah, episodes. Sack Chaser and Juvie. Yeah, YNW, YNW, YNW Sack Chaser, Chaser and Juvie. And his friend Borland was there. He's, he's the accomplice. He was the driver. He's the yeah, he's the driver. Long story short, man, the trial's going crazy. Yeah, Have you been keeping up with the trial? Yeah, I've been keeping up, bro. I've, been, I've basically been in court. Bro, I've, I've been, been in court the whole time. Yo, honestly, it, yo, it's, it's spooky. not as shut in case as, as they made it seem. Exactly. You know what made. it is, bro? I'm learning what a real fucking lawyer does. Yo. Real lawyers, they not trying to even really prove your innocence. No, you just They're trying to get some doubt. 
Yes. You, it's all about doubt. They don't Reasonable care. doubt. You don't have to prove that I didn't do it. You just have to poke holes in their argument. Yeah. That's and all you got to do. I didn't understand that. You got to shake, shake, so, so, create confusion. Right. Confusion. So there's so many things that are leading to Melly doing it between the DNA evidence in the car. They found bullets in the car, which disproved that there was a drive-by. There was a drive-by. How would you have bullet shells inside, inside. inside of the car, which means it had to be a gunshot let off inside, inside, inside the, car the car for there to be a shell in there. If there, if there was a shootout, you would think they would hand out the window. For right. Me. And, and if it's a shooting from another car into this car, that means the shell cases would be somewhere, somewhere in their car or on the ground outside the window from where they shot from. So there's a lot of things disproving that the 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 the, the kill shot apparently came from the other side of the car, which wasn't where the drive by supposedly happened. There's cell phone data that's that, that's been recorded that, that shows they were that they around before deep. they went to the hospital. Right, that it was four of them in the car before everything, and then only three people showed up to the hospital. Melly gets out the car. A lot of things in the midst of all this though. So when it happened, when it initially happened, Melly, uh, this is crazy. So, so Melly, after as soon as they did the shooting, Melly drops his pin to his friend, who just so happens to be a, a, a pretty well known rapper by the name of Fredo Bangs. Yeah. Uh, now, if people don't know Fredo Bangs, he's from Louisiana. Big, big, he's he's pretty big. He's doing his thing. Is, is he Fredo, down right now? I feel huh? like he's down right now. I'm bugging. No, no, he's not in jail. He wasn't jail. He had just came home yeah, from okay, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he drops his pin to Fredo Bangs to come get him. Um. And I, first of all, that's fucking insane. How you kill people and then you're going to drop your pen where you killed the man? And then when you go to make the police report and they ask you where this happened, y'all gave them a whole different address to where it happened, a whole different description of where it happened. And then the cell phone data is what discovered that, oh, this happened at this location. And through that same cell phone um, investigation, they found out, oh, you sent the pen to somebody. Oh, you also called your girlfriend. Now, that's an important because the girlfriend becomes a witness at this point. Yeah. So he FaceTimes his girlfriend who starts screaming when he tells her the news and his girlfriend's mother wakes up. Yeah. It, she was on trial. She was on the So stage. So listen, it gets stage. interesting. Because I've been watching this shit live stream all week, literally. The, every single second of this I've watched on live stream while I'm working. I've just been letting that why, shit play in the background. Yeah, and talking? I got DJ Academics in my ear all day. So... So the mom shows up to um, the, the mom's on FaceTime. She hears what's going on. She she becomes a witness too. Now when it comes to court, they're trying to pill up all the witnesses. Now one witness can be found. YW Millie's manager, Hunter K. Track. He's heavily involved in this case. He's a witness. He you can't find him nowhere. The the girlfriend apparently she's on vacation this whole trial. The the mom of the of that girlfriend is the only one who shows up yeah, to trial. In fact, I seen that. So she gets I've on the stand <laughs> and she gave a police report in December of 2018 when she was investigated. She gave a report. Now, that report didn't match. A, uh, no, that report was a little altered, but not too bad. She gave another report in December of the year that just passed, of 2022. And now when she goes to court... She gives up a whole different story. Suddenly, she got amnesia. She don't remember nothing. She can't tell you what the call was about. She can't tell nothing. But you telling me, so five years ago, you went to court. I mean, you went to the police station, and you told them exactly what this is about. This is about a, a double murder of your, of your daughter's boyfriend's best friends. And you tell me you don't remember any of this? Well, it was even plot twist. The plot twist goes... Then the defense comes, I mean, then, then the prosecutor goes, oh, you don't remember any of this, so what about these text messages? They pull out text messages of her agreeing to get paid to change her testimony and trial. So they literally have all the texts that, that show, like, that she, that she was a witness, that she knew everything, and she was willing to change the story people are stupid, for the money. And mind you, why would you do this through text? That's what I'm saying. People are stupid. Bro, link up and have this conversation. Yo, right, yo. <laughs> bro, they're having this conversation through text. Like, you couldn't be dumber. No. And the person that she's texting just happens to be Melly's manager, yeah, 100K Melly, Track. Yep, yeah, who's nowhere to be found. And let me just put some. It, it gets nasty because, yo, 100K Track, for people who don't know, is also King Vaughn's manager. Yeah, I knew that. So it was, it's spooky that he has two murderers under like under his his belt. And it, it, he's and he was there the day that Vaughn died. He was also the, he was one of the first people Melly contacted when the whole shit happened. And they're, they're accusing him of being the, the guy who threw away the, the murder weapon for Melly's case, which is also a big part of the physical evidence that they're lacking. They, they don't, don't have, have no weapons. They don't have the murder weapon, yep. and the prosecution can't prove where the murder took place. And the prosecution can't prove if he was in the car or not by the time it actually happened. Yeah, I know. So, so it, it gets it, tricky. It, get, it, it gets real spooky. And they, and um, they just threw out some of the some of the snap mat, snap. Oh, all the snap everything messages. on Snapchat because on Snapchat he literally texted somebody and said I did it. I did it. Somebody asked him like, "Yo, you good, bro?" And he said back, "Yeah, I did that shit." Like what? Yeah, I mean, I mean, but what's the context of that? You can't right. Do it. What's the yeah, context? I did that shit. It's crazy. Like, what are you saying right now? So, um, get, and um, also the defense is saying how um, who, the driver I forgot his name, driver uh, Boylan. 
Boiling. 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 Y.W. Boiling. He he had a different fit on when he when he yeah when he showed up to the house. So he had a different outfit on. All those different outfit. All the camp. They first of all they stopped at the house. They went home. Yeah. With two dead bodies in the car. That's that that's already been like proven that they had to have drove home because they have a they have they literally showed them drive like they, the GPS tracker so that they went home stopped for a second and then went to the hospital. He ends up in a different change of clothes and all that. But Melly wasn't in the car when they went home. He had already gotten picked up by whoever we don't know if it was Fredo Banks because Fredo Banks nowhere to be found. Yeah, he refused to testify. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, but so crazy thing is. The evidence of the text messages between the, the 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 mom of the girlfriend, yes, and the manager, that wasn't put into that wasn't put into the evidence before trial. So, I don't, if you know how the legal system works, you can't just present new evidence no, out of nowhere. No, yeah, it don't it work ha- like that. It, it has ha- to be every, submitted and be admissible through court. But bef- be- ha- be- before the trial starts, all the evidence has to be seen by both parties. Exactly. So you, and exactly. it has to be agreed upon. Exactly. You can't just automatic. Oh, we got new evidence. Yep, yep, yep. Because the, that the person Melly's lawyer has to be aware, so he knows how to prepare Exa- for it. Exactly. He he, so, ha- he has to ha- create his defense based on that evidence. Well, see what happens is now with that. That new evidence getting thrown out there, super unprofessional, just thrown out there. Now it it, it files. It, now it, there's a now there's opportunity for Melly's lawyers to file for a mistrial. Yeah. Because now the jury is tainted permanently. How is the how are you, how can you have a fair trial if now the jury knows that this woman was supposed to supposedly now allegedly the, the now the jury knows that allegedly this woman was getting paid to lie on the stand. Now it looks like Melly's super guilty. Like how is that jury going to be a valid jury? That, that's not that, that, that's not a um. What they what what's what's the legal term for it? Either way, it ain't it's fair. It's a jury. It's yeah, a you you, jury. you fucked up the jury. You know what I'm saying? The jury's gonna think one way or the other. So, it, man, spooky, spooky so situation. They, so they made yo, they made it seem big like mistake. They, they made it seem like this was an open and shut case, but yeah. like. The defense have been all, all they got to do is poke holes. That's yeah. all they have to do. They don't have to prove anything. And it, and what's even wilder is too that uh, so Y N W Borland he had um. Gun residue, the powder that that comes from when you shoot a gun. There's the, this pa- powder. Uh, there's this powder that comes from it, and it normally gets on your arm, gun your powder. hand. You know what I'm saying? Wherever you shot from was usually hands, and it was all on his hand. So it gets a little spooky. And, like, was Bortland the shooter? And and one and another thing. Um, another thing. The defense was their big part, part of a big case is motive. Why would right. he do this? Right, why and they're having a really hard time proving why, the motive. Why, why would why would he kill these are his friends? Why would yeah, he kill his, his best friends? friends? His best friends, but allegedly now the prosecution is saying that um, Sack Chase had beat him up in front of his girl, and knocked a, knocked out his tooth two yes, days before, yes, yes, two days yes. before the, the murder. But right. I mean, is there? But but do they have evidence to prove it? Because nobody's out here testifying about it. Exactly. So that that is one thing they say that is one of the motives, and there's also a motive that they were they were selling the YNW brand for a li- the licensing Behind of the brand. Back. To um to some some corporation for a half a million dollars up front, and that half a million dollars was supposed to be divvied up. Sack Chaser was supposed to get two hundred, Melly was gonna get two hundred, and Juvie was gonna get a hundred. So that's how that was supposed to get divvied up. And apparently, like that that's what they're trying to use as a motive. But nobody's coming to testify. That's about what I'm saying. They can't they can't prove they that. They can't prove that. And that, so, it, you can't just make accusations without proof. Like right. It, and and the whole defense is like, where, what's the motive of him killing his friend? What's the motive? motive yeah, motive, but motive. we're gonna we're gonna stay tuned because uh, trial starts back up and, on Tuesday after. And if people team. don't know, he's facing the death penalty. So he's oh for sure they're gonna fry him. Fighting for, for his, his life. life. Yeah, Literally yeah, yeah, yeah. Fighting for his life. Yeah, if he gets convicted, it's over. He's they putting him under the jail for sure. Yeah. But I mean, speaking of, I mean, it gets crazy because, bro, so many cases been happening. Lil Boosie. Have oh, you yeah. seen what, what happened to Boosie? They, oh, yeah. They, they used, they used uh, inst, uh, Instagram Live right. to get him. Yo, bro, they, I didn't understand that's what happened. Yo, they I were, thought he got pulled over with a gun. In, they in saw California. on Instagram Live that he had a gun tucked right. Right. in his waistband. So they went to go get him. But and that, then they and then they use a cell phone tracker to pr- to pinpoint where he was. <sighs> they used the cell phones to pinpoint where he was. So they was they was what they was on him. What <sighs> they was on him. They they, they, watching, they saw it, the gun in his waistband. A lesson and to mind anybody. You, he's, he's already a convicted felon on parole. Right, right. No, he's off parole. He got off parole. He's couple, off parole. like early, like last year. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, but he's still a felon. Yeah, he's still a felon. You can't have a gun. It's it's you. If me and you get caught with a gun, well, I got a felony. But if you get caught with a gun. You're you're gonna do a one. They're gonna give you a one to three. You're gonna do a year. If you get if I get caught with a gun as a felon, woo, minimum five, minimum five. Well, yeah. So they're, they're fair try, time. You're doing I, four. I heard they're trying four to get him at least like they're, they're trying to get him like ten, fifteen. Yeah, I'm not surprised. They, I feel like they're trying to do him like they did OJ, where it was like, oh, we didn't catch you for these murders. Why should we do for this? 
Overkill. Boom. Ten years. They, man, I, I pray not, man, because Boosie, Boosie, man, I, I strongly support Boosie. I just bought his book the other day. Like, I, I really want to see him win. Like, I understand he has a, he, he has a comment. Like, his message can seem a little little wild and out there sometimes. But under all that, like, he, he Boosie, man, he, he has a. He, he's very intelligent. His character. Like, man, when you just, when you he's listen real. to the things he says, the thing that he's done, the, the, the people he's affected, how he's affected them, the way he grew up. And understanding him, you can understand why he's a little fucked up in the head. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it ain't easy, it, right? It, it's, it, it's not like he's just been through an easy life, man. Trauma gonna come. You are gonna say some wild shit when you've been through some real traumatic experiences, Bat aka Rouge. been sentenced to the death penalty, been forced to do drugs as a kid that he didn't want to do by adults that were making him do shit that he didn't want to do, aka violence and crime shit that stained your mind. Of course, you're gonna be a violent motherfucker after that. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I did a lot of shit that I didn't really want to do, but I had to do. Yeah. You know I, what I'm saying? I, yeah, and that's what. And that's what I'm teetering on, cause it, it, he the 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 life that he grew up was crazy, you know. The life that he grew, bro. Boosie used to talk rap about smoking, like literally smoking PCP, what? What? right at 14, yeah. and going on drills, like like smoking real heroin, and then going out to go try to shoot somebody, like like that's just the, that's just the way they lived. Like Louisiana, different man. Even young boy be talking about doing heroin when he was 14, 15. Like like what? That's unheard of. We think about that as like a no, no offense to to the white community, but that's like a white drug. But like little do you know, no, 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 no. Them kids down south, Alabama, Missouri, they're doing heroin, bro. They smoking that shit. They doing what? Like they might not inject it, but they smoking that motherfucker. They sprinkling it in their blunts. That's normal down there. Like to grow up like that. California, they do a lot of that shit too. They 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 mix weed and people sm like Kendrick talks about it in his album how his first blunt he ever smoked was laced. Yeah, and that's why he that. don't smoke no more. He said, imagine if my first blunt had you smoking, had to form it at the mouth. It was it's, it's crazy. So, Boosie situation, man. Yeah, it's man. a it's a lesson to anybody out there, man. Don't be posting guns on on, on IG. He, Don't he, be thinking they're not watching. That's the thing. He ain't even posted. It was in his way. Like his shirt was up. It was in his right. waist. Did you see it? Yeah, I, I just saw it now, like Yo, earlier like, today. Like, like, it was like he didn't even like he. You just got to move. You just got to move more carefully. And then it's funny because um, he had just did an interview. Uh huh. Just did an interview, and they were talking about him and his situation and the fact that um. He is a felon, and he said, and they asked him, uh, if they if you get pulled over, you know, um, and there's a gun in the car, he said, well, the youngest person in the car is going to say it's this. The young person without the record is going to say it's this. Right. It, 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 they literally, I saw that interview like two days later, and then two days later, he got caught with the gun. Position. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's they, fucked they up. They saw it on Instagram Live. They checked his location. They went and go, went to go get him. They they was watching. That's the thing. They watch what, what, what spooked me out is the fact that the state, I believe this is in California, he caught that charge. The state dropped the charge when he went to court because he got rearrested at court. Leaving court is when he got arrested yeah. by the feds. Yeah. So it was like, damn, bro. Like, I, I, I thought it was something different. I didn't realize, oh, the feds just picked up the gun charge. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is different. But he bailed out and everything already. So, like, he bailed out the same day a couple did, hours he later. He, he, uh, it's funny. Um, he Now he put his Rolls Royce for sale. Well, the thing is. The thing so is, he though, out. he had just been all do, uh, doing New York media runs. And he had already said on TMZ that he was selling on his cars. Uh -huh. So people people thought like oh Boosie's gone broke like nah he been said he's trying to sell all his cars like hey, somebody on TZ just asked him like Boosie how many cars is too many he said shit I got way too many right now he said I'm getting rid of about nine of them right now. He said, shit, if you need a car, holla at me. He said, it's on TMZ, on camera. Like, literally just like that, too. And that was like a week, week and a half ago. Because he just, like I said, he did a lot of New York media. He just did The Breakfast Club. He had just did Maya Taffa, my expert, my expert uh, opinion. Uh, a couple other podcasts in, out in New York. So, he, he it, it, don't worry, y'all. Boosie's not going broke. I know some people wishing he do. But it ain't happening. You know what I'm saying? We good. We good. But it's just sad, man. Like it's it, really sad. Yeah, it really is. It, it 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 really is. And he and he he. I would say he's a polarizing, controversial figure. But he, uh, I think he's very, very intelligent. And um, you know, he's making he's he's made the most of his situation. No, for sure, man. And it's like, it's it's just like. It's wild to see that everything we were saying earlier this like ever since the YSL Rico we've been saying man it's gonna be a lot of Ricos. Uh, did you see what happened to Quando Rondo? <laughs> Quando Rondo, this the Quando Rondo Rico is here, ladies and gentlemen. Georgia is not playing. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, y'all going to keep trying to build rap groups and monetize off the violence that you're really committing. It's gonna come back to bite you in the ass. They not playing. 
Like, and people think, oh, he got the, the Ricos because of the, the King Von shit. No, 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 no. They're putting in work way past that. This shit go way past that. That was the on-site situation. That's not even local beef. That wasn't nobody that was beefing with for real. That was no. internet. Uh, that was yeah, internet that's shit. Right. That's you know right. what I'm saying? King Von just got on some gangster shit, hopped out, started putting men's on that, niggas. That was, that, and his that, man's that backed out a gun and shot him. That wasn't street beef. It, it, this shit is real. Like... Quando Rondo Rico now. Now we're going to see how this is going to go, like wh where this ends up. But it's like, bro, you keep seeing all these young dudes with promising careers. They're getting snatched up left and right. And it's like, damn, bro. The, like, the, you know, at, 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 at some point when you get the the, the, the fame, the notoriety, the money, you think you're untouchable. You feel me? Yeah, man. You or think, or even before that, you think you're untouchable. Yeah, you think you're untouchable. <laughs> and the money just makes you feel like, oh, I could beat that I case. Can, oh. I got enough money to beat that case. But, sure. you know, we're we going to see. When they, when they start hitting these conspiracies on you, <laughs> Yeah, and that, it's, that, it's, it's messed it, up, man. Because that, that King Vaughn situation, Quando's career was on the up and up. When I tell you, I used to really bump Quando. I still do have a couple songs on there for real. But like Quando used to do Young Boy numbers, bro, on YouTube. Hundreds of millions. Quando, it was hard to find a video of Quando Rondo with under 30, 50 million. Literally. Like in 2018, 19, before that King Vaughn shit happened. But then after the King Vaughn shit happened, oh my God, his career just huge. Like it just dropped. He had to be low key. There's a lot of things he can't talk about. His man is fighting the all kinds of cases. He got to look behind his over his shoulders, not only by the people who actually knew and loved King Von, but his fans is fucking wild too. These fans is crazy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. Yeah, bro. It's it's, it's These fan, yeah. For the, that, that's another thing. The fans are crazy. Yeah, it's been it's been a crazy week, man. I, I, talking about people going going through it getting canceled. You seen YK Osiris? Oh, see the YK Osiris Sukiana. Oh my gosh, see. And, <laughs> oh my, I, I can't like that one. That one, ah, that was nasty. It, it, it was cringy to watch. Like these, it was cringy to watch. But let me very say cringy something. to watch. Let me say something. I'll be honest with you. If you watch the full video in context and what they were talking about before that. Him and Suki was literally flirting back and forth. I'm not now. Listen, I'm not by any means defending what he did. It was the second he went up to her shoulder and they started talking. It, that it immediately started feeling cringy. Not even the first time because he like kissed her on the shoulder, said some, and then he came back and then he, that's when he grabbed her by the face and kissed her in the mouth. That shit was wild. But I'm just saying the, the context where they were having before. I can see where he might have thought. Oh, he was bad. But she was literally talking to him like, oh, she was singing his song, gassing him up, talking about ah yeah, I love that song, da da da. Because they from like the same neighborhood. They're from Northern Florida. And she literally, t literally on camera, there's audio of this being said. She goes, boy, I'll turn your little ass out. She's like, you too young for me. I'll turn you out. Talking, like, talking spicy. Like, nigga, I'll fuck the shit out you. You feel me? Yeah. So I guess that's where he thought the energy was at. Yeah. <laughs> and he misread the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he, he So I'm not defending at all what he did. All I'm saying is it was a miscommunication that was caught on camera and it looked terrible. It looked crazy. See, it I looked didn't, I, see, I didn't even see the full context. Of course you're not. And, and, and without the context, it looked wild. So, and it still looks wild. It looks wild. Super, like, and that's not even your girl. That's okay. nobody you ever or, fucked like, with. Like, 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 why would you do that? Like, during it, like, like. It, it, it was disgusting to watch. But when I found the context of it, I understood why he felt like that was okay. But nah, bro. What do you nah. do? Grab the face? Grab the, grab that's the, some grab, shit you do to no, your girl when she's no, mad. No, no, like, you know no, what I'm no, saying? No, no, no. Grab, no. Stood behind and grabbed the back of her face. Like, like yeah, come here. Like, like not, but not even approaching from the front. You feel me? <sighs> But like I, I said, that's some shit you do to your girl when she's like mad. Like, you're like, come in. Mwah. Like, nah, stop playing. Like, she pulling away from you. It didn't feel that way at all. It was like, whoa, this whoa. is nasty. Right? Like, whoa, what's going on, yeah, bro? No, that, and yeah. like to hear her scream, like, nah, like, yo, stop. Like, whoa, it just, ugh. nasty I, I, work. Like, like, stuff like that, I can't even watch. Like, that's right. Shit is and real, it, and that, it was, that, it, that, that, stuff like that gives me anxiety. Just watching it was fucked that, up, like, though, because like, then Suki goes on, on Twitter. And she pretty much was like came out like, yo, I just pretty much got attacked and nobody did nothing about it. And it's like, damn, like that is the world we live in. We're like, for real, no, it was nothing but men around. Somebody could have did something. But then again, I don't know what you expect. What you want, somebody to beat him up right then and there? And, and, like, and, that, and that's my whole thing. I feel like in this era of hypersexuality, um, especially, you know, men, especially with women who are hypersexual, they feel like that they that they have a certain type of entitlement. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. they, so Explain you, hypersexual real quick for me. Uh, well, well, well um, you know, we live in a in a an era where women are sexually liberated, and they're and they're proud of their sexual liberation. Okay, yeah, yeah, Suki for sure. That's what I'm saying. If you know, saying. Suki, you know Suki, you know Suki. That's what I'm saying. Her so, name is literally Suki with the good coochie. Like, uh, like that's her name. Like, that, that's her shit. That that's what I'm saying. She's in, super in this, sexual in this it. era of hypersexuality and women empowerment. Um, you know, there are men that. Those women who are hypersexual, they feel like they have a certain certain type of entitlement. 
they know they know how the the women are, and it's oh, if, if they're like that, then they're they're just like that, regardless. Mm. You feel me? And sometimes, um, you know, they got to read the room and not feel so entitled or or, or feel like. Oh, it's, it's it's who she is. It's how she is. Yeah. You feel me? That's not how. That's not how it works. Yeah, that's not how it works. You feel but me? But there is a thing called be careful the energy you put out. Oh, you know of course. I'm saying like if you don't want people to call you a hoe, but well, don't pull up with your tits hanging and hanging out with a I, net, with netted not, stocking and a super I'm, short dress. But that's not what I'm. That's not. That's oh no, I'm just saying about. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just, no, I'm just I, saying. I agree with that. I I 100 percent agree with that. But that's not what I'm saying. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, she. Oh, oh, she's she's a hoe. Oh, oh, she she did this, this, this. Oh, that yeah, means, that, right. Oh, that means I'm I'm good to go. I'm yeah, in the green. Hell no. That means I can be a creep. Like your no. ass will be in jail and, thinking and, like that, and, boy. <laughs> and at the same time, um, we also have to give Suki the energy of the of the uh, sexual predator that she is. Ooh. You feel me? Wait a minute. What you mean? You ain't see the video of her twerking on a seven year old? Oof. <laughs> well, her mom sitting in the back. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. All I'm saying, see, but, but we just don't have the same energy, and and I'm not, I'm not even talking about the Osiris, Osiris situation anymore. And mm-hmm. she should feel some type of way, and you know, it, it's unfortunate it happened to her. No, yeah, it was, it, it is. Really I'm not is. talking about that, but I'm just talking about her twerking on a seven year old. Like, right, right. We don't, we went have, right past that. Like it didn't happen. We don't, no, flew right over our heads. We don't, we don't, we don't even associate her with that. You feel me? Damn. And we don't have the same type of energy for um, women predators that we do with men. If there was, if there was a male, not lying. If there was a male standing behind a seven year old, a, a first grader, Whoa. And, you feel me? We that they they would, would have burned him alive. Literally, they, he would have been skinned. He, yeah, he, they would have tied him up by the back of a truck and dragged him. <laughs> Literally, yeah. And me? as he should, cause that's fucking wild. As he should, but, but you're same, right. It's not the same but, energy and, and, at and all. It's not. It's, it's not the same energy, and and Whoa. and that's and that's traumatizing to a child. I don't. I don't yeah. care. And. and they think because it's a man, and it's it, it's a little boy. It's different. Yeah, and, you're 100 percent right on and, that. And the fact that her mom, his mom, was standing in the background, we don't even give her anything. And, I, and I'm guilty of of feeling that way, but a little bit because listen, all right, it's like I give this example, right? When you find out, oh, a, a, a older male teacher fucked one of the students, it don't even matter if she was 18, 19. We look at him like, nigga, what? You did what? You 40 something? You you could be 22. It don't you you're not supposed to fuck with the students, right? Period. Okay, cool. But then. When you find when you hear about the older fourteen year old boy that was fucking the twenty five year old teacher lady, we like shit. Shout out to him. My man did his thing. Nah, you feel nah, me? You're right. You're right. And it, that's it, why I'm like I'm guilty of feeling nah, that that's way. That's a fact. Because you're right. I'm not looking at it like he like, did anything. Like like, like there's, like, there's much like wrong. I know there's a, something wrong in that. No, you know what I'm saying? No, but, but I'm but looking at it like shit. It. That little boy winning. Yeah, we're not thinking about it like oh she's a predator. That, right. That we're, a predator. Not, we're, we're not. We're not. We're not. So no, a lot of people do. But me personally, that's not my immediate thought. Oh, this raping ass bitch. I'm not thinking that. I'm thinking oh this little nigga lit. He just got some 25 year old pussy. He lit. But that's rape. And neither does the courts because because a lot of times those 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 women are predators they don't get as much right. um a, a stiffer punishment as, right. as I wonder if there's counterpart. ever been a female episode of To Catch a Predator that's gotta be fucking funny and, uh, if there hasn't of, been then that's a cl- of, that clearly speaks to what you're talking about speaking of there better bo- have been some bitches on, on To Catch a Predator speaking of uh, Boozy Boozy got his 13, 14 year old son some ass he was you 16 he was 16 chill, chill, chill. he was 16 he was 16 does that make a difference hey it might have been legal in that state just relax let's all relax so, but does legal I had to make clarify it that. right does legal make it right does legal and that's the problem I know 16 that's, niggas is getting pussy but that, no, 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 from but grown women but but does that make it right? You're talking about I don't want to say it's right. You talk about legality and more and morality. Of course, two of course. Things. You're right. Just because it's legal doesn't make it right. But I'm saying if my if my son's 16 and I got on this 19 year old badass bitch stripper da da da, I know my son trying to hit. Why? Because he didn't tell me, Daddy, I'm in love with that girl. Ah right, ah, right, cool. If I slide on her DM, yo, uh, was my she, son, are you sure he was 16 at the time? I yeah, well, like it was for his 16th birthday. Oh, 16th for a fact. Birthday. And, and like I know a lot of different states have different laws and like there's different uh, consent, con, consensual or whatever uh, consent. But if she's 19, and he's 16. That's perfectly legal. That's not even was, against was the. Was she 19? I don't know, but, but what you, I'm saying, she's saying an adult. Ni- but you're saying 19. No, like, no, no, because three, I'm just using an example of what might have happened. You never know. But there's yeah. no context to this. We just know that Boosie bought, bought some bought some ass same, to his son. Same thing happened with Little Wayne when he was a child. What? When he was when he was like uh, oh facts facts twelve yeah yeah he did say 11, that 12. he said he, same thing happened with Adrian Broner and his story feel me mm. he told he got raped when he was yeah. and, then, and then when he told the story people were laughing at him yeah it, you, it was it was a room full of women up. it was a room full it was, it, was, it was it was it was an interview a room full of women mm-hmm. and he was saying how he got taken advantage of when he was like 12, 11, that's 13. Crazy. that shit happens and, all the time and bro everyone in the room started laughing but right. it's, it's 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 just the energy is different if that if that was a, if he that's was a girl. 
That's we'd be sitting here crying, that, telling him to write a book like, about like, it. Like, like, and that's he was fucked at, up. He, and you could tell his voice, he was kind of like tearing up. Yeah, he, and he was he dead was ass. really scarred. Like, right. And that he, shit he is really real. Taking advantage of that shit is real. And and it's just how the energy, the women in the room had the energy of they were making fun of him and laughing. Like, yeah. that's funny. That's his, the, his trauma is funny. 12, 13, 14 ain't the same as 16. Because I'm using Boosie Sun as an example, but he's 16. 16 is a little different. Not much, but it is a little different. Because at 16, you really trying to go get some pussy. Like, you know what I'm saying? 12, 13, that shit is like a thought. But it ain't really like, it ain't happening no time. You know what I'm saying? 16, you probably already done lost your virginity in most places. I know I did. I wasn't a virgin at 16 no more. You know what I'm saying? So that, so I, it is a little different. 12, 13 is wild. Like 12, 13, 14... Trying to get some pussy for the little nigga, that's wild. Like he's not ready for that. Let but, him let but, him let but, him get him some self but, some but, girls but, his age. But and then but, they figure that shit out themselves. But you're talking about sixteen year old boys. What about sixteen year old girls? Would you have the same energy if it was an adult? You feel me? If the man nineteen, twenty, I'm not tripping. No, no, no. But, but, but well, I'm talking I'm talking about, you feel me? What do you but mean? Ni- but 19, they technically could have been in the same school at the same time. This is what I'm saying. Me, I'm not, but that's not what I'm talking about. Yeah, you're talking about, wait, I don't I'm know, bro. A, a grown it, adult. It, it, gets, it gets weird, bro, because for real, like when you look at a lot of, like, especially our generation, our parents, I know not your parents, but like most people are. are most people who have parents our age, like around the 50s, 60s, their parents, their ages, their age gap be like 5, 10 years sometimes, 20 years. Like, I know motherfuckers whose dads is 60, moms is 45. Like, there was but, a couple years ago, that would have been like, like but that. It, but no, no, no. But but when you're an adult, it, it, every, it's different. Did they, what, who says that happened when they were adults? No, that's, that's true. A lot of these niggas' moms had, they, had kids when they were 16, 17. So you, dad was 30. Everybody on Marcus Houston right now, because his girl, 19, he, they've been together they, for see, like See, that's three. fucking wicked. They, they've been together for that's like three fucking years. fucking wicked. Like, uh, it, yeah, that's fucking. You feel me? They, they I don't know, bro. Like, uh. it, it's, it gets it gets very weird. It gets very. It's a very weird line to really try to teeter on. To Six, be honest, sixteen and sophomore high school, bro. Like that's crazy. Yeah, that shit. That's is crazy. Cool. Michael J. White. Matter of fact, uh, you know who Michael J. White yeah, is. Uh, but for people who don't know, who Spawn. I want to know. Uh, he was the black dude in, in Dark Knight. That's probably like most like yeah. known role. He was the the one black villain in Dark Knight when they when they made dude eat the pencil. Like when Joker made. Dude eat the, <laughs> yeah, that's Michael J. White. Yeah, everybody knows Michael J. White by face. If you don't know his name, yeah, for sure. Blood and bone, super. Aki black dude, Tim's on doing karate, that nigga. He had a kid at 15 by a 20 year old. You feel me? But he used to lie and tell people that he was 18 because everybody already thought he was a grown ass man. He didn't even tell people his age. Everybody just thought he was a grown ass man. So long story short, he ended up having a baby at, at 15. Sick. She's 20. Um, they ended up having a paternity test, a, 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 a paternity court case or whatever. And long story short, yeah, by the time they the got the court, her, she ended up dropping because she, she was trying to get like child support and shit. And yeah, and she, she the, better drop it. The, yeah, and the lawyer was like, um, "Excuse me, ma'am, you're how old?" Like in court, the judge was like, "How old are you?" And and Michael J. White was seventeen at the time still, and she was like 22, 23 already. Okay. And they were like, "What are you doing here right now? You had a kid when?" They were like, and the judge was like, "Yo, we're gonna close this because <laughs> this shit's gonna get out of hand." This is also like in the eighties, nineties. But the judge was like, "Yo, we're gonna close this because this is really a rape case that we need to be talking about. Not yes, no fucking, not no, not not no paternity." Not Nothing. We don't need none of that right now. What we need to know is that you should walk out of here before you go to jail because you're gonna go to jail for this. Because he was still 17, he was still a child, and it's just and it's just spooky because that's one of them situations where people don't even know what they got going on. Like and you had a whole child with a 15 year old. Like what the fuck? And like that and was rape. He was raped. Literally. <laughs> like that's crazy. And this goes and goes back to the whole Suki thing. We don't even associate her with that with that moment. Yeah, but no, you're if right. The roles were reversed. No, no, we, no. We, we would have. We would have. He would be in prison. Oh, she would abs- be in prison if it was a registered sex offender. Facts. So you you want to move to the neighborhood? You gotta. You, uh, you ain't registered a sex. You ain't registered. They come to get you. Damn. You feel me? So I, I just think, um, um, I obviously uh, in in this in in the in the in the life that we live, that um, yeah, women in general have to be protected more than men. Of course, just because of the life that we live. But yeah. at the end of the day, young men also need to be protected. They need. No, 100%. They, they need to be. Um, they, they need to be protected. They, they, they need. There's somebody needs to speak up for them and have a voice for them. Nah, um, nah, for sure. You know, and and it's 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 just the double standard that we live in. Nah, it is man. Just it's, a double it, standard. It, it, like, it's really there's fucked many, up. There's it's many sad. double standards in this world, and that's one of them. Yeah, it's fucked up. It's sad though, for real. Because you're so right. It's such a, it's one of them double standards, and it's never gonna be. It's never gonna be shined on as bright as the, when the roads are reversed. When it's it, the little it, girl, no, it'll never. Little boy, I, I think it was. A, I heard a stat. And it's like eight out of ten people have been molested as a child, like, and that's fucking crazy. That's crazy. Like what? It's like I think it's seven out of ten, seven because eight out of ten is five, four out of five. That, I think it was seven out of ten. Yeah, that that doesn't make it much better. That's... Not regardless, right? Like, and then, and then how many people actually get to speak about it? <laughs> Maybe and, one out of every thousand. One out of every, how many and, people really speak about and, it? And how many? How and 
and the long term effects of that. Oh, for sure. Long term effects. And, and Kendrick, Kendrick spoke about that in um in his last album called uh, there's a song called Auntie Diary. <coughs> crazy. If you listen to that song, that shit Ke- is crazy. Keisha's story. Keisha's story is crazy too. But that's about a little girl. But even in, in um Auntie Diary, it was just yo, bro. Kendrick is just different, man. And that's a, there's a reason why he gave a big shout out to his family. He put them all in the, uh, and he gave them all credit on the album because he was telling their real stories. Like these, are real, he's giving real, real names when he he said Demetrius is Marianne. Now he's talking about his cousin that turned to a girl, and he talked about his auntie who was who was a. a uh, uh, what do they call it? stud? Like she was a girl that dressed masculine, and yeah. how she was a pimp, and she used to literally have hoes like a stable of hoes, and she was the pimp, and she had the money, and everybody was hanging on her, and she was the flyest nigga in the hub. She was a girl, and it's just like what the fuck? Like it, it, it's a crazy story. There's so much more that I'm that I'm not yeah. uh, not spoiling right now, but go listen to that song. It's Auntie on the newest Diary. album. Yeah, on the, the most late, on the latest album. Yeah, on the Big Steppers. Big Steppers. Yeah. Facts. Auntie Diary, yeah. go listen to that. Crazy. Nah, mm. but it, it's, Crazy. It's, it's just, yeah, we got to protect our little boys because for all. stuff like that. And, and it has to be, not only community, it has to be socially. It's, you feel me? It has, it, has, it, has to, it has to be socially to where um to where we care about stuff like that. You know, I feel like, um like I was saying, a lot of situations that, um you know, like I said, women, of course, have to be protected more than, more than men, but, um, it's still something that should uh, that should definitely be shine the, shine the light on. Nah, facts, especially because like you said, you never know long term effects or where that leads to the because all, all that childhood trauma leads to a lot of like a, a lot of the violence and shit that people oh. act out and you don't know where you it's don't coming know from. Where it's coming, the, the, uh, oh, you don't know where it's the the the, the lashing out, the the bottled up emotions, the anger, uh, the yeah. hypersexuality. Yeah, a lot of that comes from yes, that, most yes, not most. I, I don't know the statistics on it, right? But a lot of it. That's Hell where yeah. it comes from. The high, Hell yeah. That's where it comes from. It should it should is spooky. And man. And, the, and the long term effects of uh that's why um that's why uh you know raising the child the right way is so important, man, because there's so many long term effects and statistics yeah. about it. And I, I, that's why I want to get into the backstory of John Morant, because I don't know if you've seen the recent news, but John Morant, he just got his uh sentence, he just got his served his uh, sentence, 25 games. <laughs> and it sounds weird, like, yo, John Morant just got 25. Like we thought this sound like jail time. Nigga, like, no, no, no. 25 <laughs> games. You know what I'm saying? On a lot of note, speaking on John Morant, so he got a 25 game suspension for his uh his his his, his back and the tooly for being yeah, backing <laughs> out the ham on niggas. Backing what, out the ham. What do you think? You think that's it's enough, or you think he deserves more? Um, you think that wasn't a severe enough punishment? What you think? Twenty five games out of eighty two games in the NBA season. That's like roughly a third. So just to put that in perspective, he's losing a third of his. I believe that's suspended without pay. Oh, absolutely, of course, right? Yeah, paid. when you get suspended like that, it's out it, pay. It's already he's already down ten M's off that, and that's not even including his endorsements and everything. Sheesh. That's not including his last suspension. That's not including him not making All NBA last right. year. Right, he lost thirty nine million on that deal. I think it was a, they calculated it was like 10, 11 million off the thir, uh, thir, twenty five games he's missing. So he he's down fifty right now. He's down fifty M's, and I'm blaming Young Boy. But what do you think? <laughs> do you think he deserved more or less? I think he deserved more personally. <sighs> Bombshell. I pro- I think he deserved more as far, as far as his whole attitude toward everything. He got the first time was like a slap on the wrist. I think oh, he lost like eight games. Eight games and a week in rehab. We knew that was for the for, for that the week attention. in rehab was cap. That ain't going through drive through rehab. That's what I'm saying. Who was in and out of that bitch in three days? It, it was more. I I, I think um, you know message message needs to be sent. But at the end of the day, um, it's just a, it's it's just an unfortunate situation all around. Um, and I'm, def- I'm I'm blaming I'm partially blaming his father for the situation as well, dad and mom. Because if you heard the stories, both of them got some shit going on in the I background. See, I don't, I, I, I didn't even hear nothing about his mom. I only know about his dad. Oh, let, oh, well, you yeah. ain't hear about his mom. Let's talk about it one time, okay? And no disrespect to John Moran. I'm only speaking on the things that the things that I've heard through the media and through the news and things that have been have been reported to be factual. Uh, they they so. One of the one of the biggest things, because I'm honestly I'm I'm waiting for John Morant to crash out. I'm at a point where like I think he's gonna crash out. 25 game suspension. So now you're gonna give him 25 games. He can't even be in the studio. He can't be in the arena. He can't be at practice. He can't be at none of the facilities. It's like all right. So now what is he gonna do? He's gonna have a whole lot of free time to do dumb shit. You think you think it was well, you think it was too much? Um. I think it's. I think nah. Honestly, honestly, I thought he, I thought he was gonna get half the I season. I thought he was gonna get half too. I thought he was gonna get half. So I don't. I don't want to say it was. I, the NBA knows like you miss half a season of John Moran, y'all niggas wilding because he's so important. He's so vital to people watching, especially in that small media, that small market team down in Memphis, yeah. where they already have a. They, they, he's 
like the the second the f- coming of Michael Jordan over there because yeah, it's like right. oh shit people are actually coming to the t- pay tickets again people are coming like oh shit like win or lose people want to see John Morant right. you know what I'm saying but I, I thought he was gonna get at least half but uh, to, to get half, back too. on the the story of his, uh, his mom and his parents and how we do gotta blame his parents how you blame his dad I blame his mom a little bit too because I haven't heard too much about his dad but his mom. Now there was a there was a the 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 situation that happened at Foot Locker a couple years ago with John Moran, and it was his mom apparently was arguing with one of the Foot Locker employees. I heard about this. And in the midst of her arguing with one of the Foot Locker employees, um, she goes, "Oh, you don't know who my son is." She gonna try to bring her. She son gonna into call it. her son, and guess what, Jai do? He pull up five six deep, including him. They show up with a whole entourage to Foot Locker to fight a Foot Locker employee. I did hear about that. Who, I don't know if you know, but most people that work at Foot Locker are younger. So you're doing this for, for what, a 17, 18, probably a 20-something year old regardless. You, you're an NBA player, an all-NBA player at that. You worth hundreds of millions, dog. I saw that. I saw that. What are you I doing pulling up that. 60? Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to say something. None of the people that showed up with him are his real friends. I'll tell no, you that right now. Absolutely not. Not one of them niggas is your real not friend, dog. Because not one of them niggas had the right mind to say, yo, bro. You got 100, 50, 200 million on the line, bro. What are we doing? Matter of fact, stay at the crib. We're going to go. Know, I'm about to say. We're going to go. If you really want me to, I'll Mikey, go. Mikey, Tony, we going to go. It's <laughs> one nigga at Foot Locker. What are y'all talking about? Why are we going six deep? That. I actually heard so, about it. it, it's a, it, it. And that just goes to show the mentality of his mother. It's, and then the thing a, is, so when he gets there, security comes. They ended up getting into an argument with security, yelling at the security, talking about, yo, what time you get off work? We're going to see you then. They wasn't even worried about the Foot Locker kid no more. No. They're trying to fight security. Yeah. No, outside. They, 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 after no. work. They just wanted to. That's shooting words. That's that's killing words. We gonna catch you after work. What? Oh, who you talking? Who? It's who, sixty y'all. What? You and you know to, like to have guns and shit. What are you talking about? Who you talking about? And, 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 and he feel me. He like six four. Feel me. So who? Yeah, ain't no. Ain't nobody trying to fight you. Say, who you talking to? Like Biggest hell, gang. I, I, I cut you down the size. <laughs> yeah, right. Cut your ass down the size in a second, nigga. You so, <laughs> so in that case, and then the other case was when um when uh John Moran's mom got into a uh, some type of altercation at a volleyball game at like his sister's volleyball game, and. Blase, blase, same situation. Call my son. He ain't gonna call John Morant. Yo, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? So yeah. it's like the mom yeah. has to be held responsible, Both highly yeah, responsible. Yeah. I, I, I haven't heard nothing about the dad doing no shit like that. I'm, ta- I'm talking about as far as it, it, it just seems like he's like the, the big brother. You feel me? And I it don't get seem, it. It don't seem like... It don't seem like he's really the parental figure, feel me? Right. That's, that's, what, I, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's how it's, yeah, that's how it's that's that's how it's portrayed to me. Yeah, you I don't me? I don't want to d- 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 down talk or say that they're doing a bad job, but hey, <laughs> let's not call John Morant no more for any of this shit, please. Like y'all rich enough to go get some security, get somebody who can go 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 get you a shooter. Go get a shooter. I'm sure there's shooters on Facebook Marketplace. You can get a shooter somewhere. Don't get John. That's not your man's to be going at. Like, why would you fumble the bag like that? You know what I'm saying? And it, what, what really fucks me up too, man, is like, what's the obsession with people wanting to be the the successful like killer? Like, they don't gangster, right? Like, when when you think of like a boss or like a like a, a kingpin or you know, you think about an ultimate gangster, he has henchmen that are willing to do all the dirty work. And that's the he thing. He sits back like this and, and don't answer does, no calls, does, no phone. Doesn't, doesn't have his hands in nothing. And, and, that's, and, that, and, and that's the point right here. I mm-hmm. think it's a difference. When we're talking about kingpins and we're talking about um, the cartels, right. um, organized crime. Right. When we're talking about organized crime, they want to disassociate themselves from that. Exactly. That's the difference. Exactly. We... Want to run ourselves to that? They right. want to dis- disassociate. They want to get exactly. legal about it. Exactly. They want to turn it into legal money. Yeah. They don't want to associate themselves with the streets. Yeah, the mafia was so ill back in the day. They were you weren't allowed to sell drugs. The mafia back in like the I believe in like the fifties, sixties, seventies. If they find out y'all was selling drugs, you're fucked. They'll kill you over that shit. Why? Because that comes with big ass indictments. That comes with big jail time. Why would you do that if we extorting this concrete company down the street and we making a half a, half a million off them niggas a year? Yep. What are you doing that for? Why we could do this right here. All we gotta do is knock on their door every Thursday. They coming. They paying. Yep. Yep. We don't have to worry about none of that <laughs> all shit. They gotta do, all they gotta do is pay And then rent. how you gonna prove it? There's no way to prove it. We could prove you sold 100 bricks. Why? Because we got you on camera unloading them shit to the dock, nigga. And you got 100 niggas willing to testify and snitch on you because nobody's trying to do 100 years. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. To, 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 like, our, I, I want to say our community, but it is a thing. It is our community. It is our it community is. where no, it's, it like, is. it's like, oh, we're going to be successful, they, and then I want to show you that I'm about that. I want to show you that I got the gun. It ain't my man sliding with the big ass gun. No, no, no. It's John in the passenger seat like this. Nigga, for what no, are you for doing? No reason. I, I'm provoked. I'm what provoked. are you doing? I'm provoked. It's like to get successful, super rich, and then start showing people you're, you're the top honcho gangster. 
that don't make no sense, and, bro. And, and, and let me say, and let me say something. Um, you know, people. Um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of talk. Um, social media, everyone's like, "Oh, he didn't do anything illegal," but at the same time, you gotta realize the NBA is a private brand. Facts. Any it, it, as they're a private man, he he's he's making two hundred million dollars, and he has a choice. That's you don't saying. have to play. You don't have to play for the NBA. You want to play with your guns all day? Just don't be in the league. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It, it it is a private entity, and they're allowed to make rules on stuff that hurts their brand. They can literally within say... Reason, within reason. Right. Within reason. Anything yeah. that hurts the, the NBA brand, they're allowed to say, you can't do that. Right. They can, say, probably, they can say, you can't wear that black jersey today. You need to wear the white one. And you could try to put on that black jersey, and guess what? Your ass gonna get sat down. They used to yo. be fine. They used to be fine for the socks they wore, the yep. shoes they wore. Michael Jordan. You People don't me? know Nike was paying fines every game for Michael Jordan to wear black socks. They paid his fine every game for him to wear black socks because he said, "I want to make sure my shit is iconic." Oh, oh, but 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 oh, black socks legal? Of course not. But it's about protecting the brand. Same thing. Michael Jordan was going to pay the fine to wear longer shorts because they were like, "Yo, we can't like, w- w- what do y'all want us to do? Like, how the fuck we going? Like, I'm I'm trying to be I'm trying to be an icon. I gotta stand out." These motherfuckers wearing tight shorts up to here, like Larry Bird and all that. He like, well, listen, we gonna pull our sister right here. I'm gonna throw on these black socks, and I'm gonna be the biggest brand ever. And um, and after Allen Iverson, but he was willing to take the fine. And after Allen Iverson, of that. um, uh, the players had to dress up. Yes, because AI was on the AI court, on pulling the... up with three X basketball yeah. shorts, five X white tee. With, with, his mom's doing his braids while he's on the bench. So like, <laughs> yeah, that's the like, most fly were, shit I ever seen. If you were, if you're not playing, you have to be. Business suit, you have to be business casual, right? At least business casual. Yeah, is yeah. that is that a law? No, but that protects the NBA brand. But they they lined up on that though because uh, the, that was um, what was son's name? Uh, Adam Silver is the one who's in now. Um, what was the last dude? Um, oh, uh, David Stern. David Stern. Shout out David Stern because people Tina, don't know he's from Tina High. Yeah, shout out David Stern. Graduated Tina High in like the sixties or seventies or some shit like that. But um, he definitely was a Tina dude. But the the craziest part is that yeah, that that was around the, his regiment was yo suits, suits, suits. But niggas was wearing four X suits and looking fucking ridiculous. So the NBA was like, yo, just get comfortable. Throw some jeans on, do something. Because that motherfucker, it's a fashion show on that sideline. That was just a fashion show. You think you looking at a hundred rappers on like it looked like twenty rappers on the sideline when the people that are not playing. It's bust down jewelry, gallery department here, marry this, marry that, like off white flannels. Like it's a it's a it's a fashion show yeah, on that sideline. Yeah, yeah. Ben Simmons looking at looking for a fit where he's gonna wear. Yeah, that's all Ben Simmons care about. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think he got his jersey hung up in his locker. He just got different fit. <laughs> for what? Yeah, he don't he don't care. I'm, I'm rich as hell. Like uh, NBA money different, bro. That NBA uh, money is speak, different. Speaking of NBA, we gotta talk about Zion, man. What oh uh, oh I've been you know I didn't really tune into Zion. What bro. happened with Zion? Because all I'm hearing Zion got hoes. Bro, Zion is bro, Zion, bro. We we lost, we lost, we lost one. We lost How do we lose Zion? He bro, been lost. Zion is tweaking, bro. When Zion showed up 350 pounds of training camp, I knew we lost all, Zion. His, his John was um he 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 let a porn stars. I ain't mad at him. He let a porn stars. If I'm that rich, so I let a porn stars too. No, 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 no. One of his his girl was is a, is a porn star, feel me? Mm-hmm. And like she's an early thirty. Zion's twenty two anyway. Yeah. Um. Damn. And apparently, he got another porn star pregnant, who already got a kid. Feel me? She's porn she's thir- she's twenty nine. Porn star pregnant is crazy. <laughs> um, <laughs> they on their Freddie Gibbs shit. And 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 the other one where you know his girl or whatever, she was going yo. She's been going crazy on the blogs about what telling on them everything. Which is love telling. No 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 no. Yo, j- j- literally. Literally five days nonstop, <laughs> airing out his dirty laundry. Everything. Text That's messages. Gonna at, 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 she mad. At, at the she mad. At in the NBA. You know why she really mad though, right? She tight. Cause she ain't secured the bag. <laughs> that bitch no, secured no, the bag. No, no, no. I'm Bro. talking about. I'm talking about. Text messages, emails. Oh, that's why. That's why there's nothing but, uh, but 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 empty chips and soda cans in your house. You dirty ass. Like, she was going, like, like you she overweight could, for a reason. Why are you fat like, shaming my son? Like, uh, like um um, uh, you want to eat snacks late night all the time. Like she's she, like, telling yo yo. That's no, hilarious. No, 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 no. I'm talking about five days straight. No, yeah. No, she no, no. mad. No, 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 no. You mad. No, no. I'm talking <laughs> you about mad. every, every time. <laughs> you mad. Listen. No, have a baby by me, every, baby. Be a millionaire. Every tweet. I write the check before the baby come. Who the hell every cares? Every tweet is at in Zion. She every should. Sing, yo, Listen to me. Listen five, to me. six days. That nigga is 6'6", six, six, 300 pounds. That woman is about to hit the lottery. Rather she that won. boy, better be a boy or a girl, because now girls is getting nil deals. That lit, that bitch is lit. First of all, she got child support from a two hundred million dollar nigga coming. Are you kidding me? That's why his bitch is sick. She ain't secure the bag. You did not secure the bag. You fucked up. 
He, you let your you let your multi kajillionaire boyfriend run off and get another bitch pregnant. Now she's up. She's stupid up. Brother, he likes it or not, he's up. Yo, every, she ain't getting less than 20, 000, 20 000 a month. She's up. She's up for life. She's up. She, she, 20, she, she got she, 18 she got years. Like, and she, she got like an eight-year-old. Bro. They, oh, they that little nigga lit too. We wearing they, Gucci suits all summer, oh, nigga. What are you talking right? about? That's so, why Shorty's so, tight. Yo, nah. and she, respectfully, she has a reason to be and, mad. And, you, and, you fucked up. You fumbled the bag, Shorty. And then she adding like, oh, she better watch out. Whatever yeah, case may yeah, be. right. All and that then, good shit up, bro. Then, we good. And then it's gonna be like, damn, like, oh, I'm getting attacked. I'm getting death threats. Uh, right. Like, Listen, you know what Zion's doing right now? <laughs> like this, nigga. I still got two hundred. Zion, yo, y'all bitches can eat I dick. Y'all wilding right like, now. Y'all go ahead and kill yourselves over this shit. Yo, Listen, that shit, I'm like, damn. It, Sometimes it's, as a man, you gotta realize, yo, bro, it is what it is. You fucked up. You fucked up. Is, all right, is. now we gotta live through this. Now we got, you want to turn life into hell and and do all this ruckus on Twitter? Like, what's that doing for you? And and then he was and then he was texting like yo why you keep and then she was posting that like every <laughs> yo I'm talking about yo. text messages after like everything mm. on like mm -mm -mm. she was talking about airing them out it was crazy no nah, I mean it's, I, it's, I saw um I some I saw somebody put a post like you know um he wasn't playing whatever he was in a. He had an anime fit on him. Saw they were like, "Yo, oh, the host saw this." They were like, "Yeah, we got one. We got one. <laughs> we got one." <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's a sucker. Oh, we got nah, word. You can tell Zion like a nerdy kind of kid. Yeah, though. No, like, he's no, a good yeah. kid. Yeah, he just he wanted really, to get some is. porn star pussy. He got, he Respectfully, got, he, he's he, in that tax bracket. He should be getting porn star pussy every fucking day. Everywhere he goes, there should be porn stars lined up for that nigga. Why? Because right. I'm rich as shit. I'm 22. I got mad testosterone. Bitch, come here. All, all, I'm sorry. And, 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 I'm but, sorry. <laughs> Listen, Shorty just hit the fucking lottery. That's what I can't tell. Shout out to her. Yeah, I don't know he her should, name, he should, he, but he should be killing. But shout out to her. I'm not mad at nobody in this he situation. Could get anybody he wants. Shorty's mad because she, she's mad because she's mad. No. What he could get anybody in the world, but what? I'm saying, I'm saying, like what? No, I'm saying. He oh, you just mad because he got a porn star pregnant? Not mad, no, you disappointed? I'm not, yeah. You disappointed in my son? Yeah. And it be and like I'm that. Girl, like, what are you doing? It be like that. It do be like that. Why? <laughs> be like that. It don't have to be like that. It don't have to be like that. But niggas fuck up, son. <laughs> it be, yeah, and it like, do be no. It, Charge it to the game, bro. Charge it to the Charge game. Charge it to the game, bro. The game, the and game, you got to get your shit together. To the These are things that I be going through my damn self. Like, you you, you know. You know what I'm saying? It be like that. So it's like, man. Oh, nigga, me too. The, the, me, older, me the too. older I've gotten, bro, the more I realize, like, yo, when life, people. Life, like, life be life in, That quote, like, man, we all grown here. That shit is real, son. That's a fact. Once you grown, there's a lot of shit that goes on. Yes. There's a reason why there's a, like, it's fucked up to say, but there's a reason why there's a lot of fatherless children, son. There's a lot of shit that happens that wasn't planned, that was not part of the plan, that was not part of the agenda. You know what I'm saying? Now, how you act after that, that's on you. But when shit be out of the plan, yo, bro, this niggas is really running around here. Got 15 kids, bro. Different wives, different girls, every, every single situation. There's no way possible you can take care of that. There's no way possible. No. You fucking up. You got to figure that out before it gets out of hand, for sure. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and. You don't want this shit to get out of hand. And, you know, what are, what are, what are these, some of these women doing? But that's another question. Yeah, but listen, as long as Zion's still a dad, it becomes... No, I'm not, I'm, it, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not talking about I'm talking about in general. Yeah, yeah, I, but I'm going back First to being... First baby mother, the, second baby mother, I'll give her the slide. <laughs> but after that... Listen, man, on. I'm be, I'm on three right now. You heard? <laughs> I'm wild. But listen, it is what it is. Cause you just gotta realize, like, yo, bro. As long as you make sure you handle what you gotta handle, handle your candle. But that's the thing. You got, that, there's people who aren't handling. That's, of course, that's what I'm saying. But that's why when you say you disappointed in Zion because he could have got any bitch pregnant. Hey, listen, it was out of his plan. Now it's out of his. Now it's completely out of his control at this point. Yeah. Now the only thing you control is make sure you a dad. Make sure you do what you gotta do. Of course, take care of them. Do I, everything you gotta do. Absolutely. But, that's when I say I'm, I'm disappointed in him. Once if she starts airing him out in a couple of years, this nigga ain't seen this kid in two years. I'm gonna be disappointed because now you letting shit get out of hand, bro. You got too much money, too much power to let that kind of shit happen. You can shut that. But, you can shut that down speak, by just being there. You got the time. You but, know what I'm saying? But, During um, the season is crazy, but but speak. But speaking of um, multiple baby mother situation and you know ain't shit, whatever the case may be, the Summer Walker situation. Ooh, yeah, she's wild. But 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 the Summer August situation, like she got like four kids in no, like the last South three years. Side, Southside got how many? Like eight, ten. But but that's <laughs> what I'm saying. But you know, recently she's been how he he's been the absent father. My he's been doing that before you. Yeah, you do that. I, she went in interview was saying like um. Yeah, you know, I know he had his past, but you know, he was telling me all this. But of I course. but I feel like I think one of the differences between men and women is women give men a benefit of that when they don't deserve it. You feel mm. me? But I feel like men women get, give men, men the benefit of that when they don't deserve it. Oh, facts, facts, facts. You feel me? I, and, and, and I think that's a trait that, that women women 
have that that men necessarily don't feel me mm. like yeah 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 nigga but that's because niggas got it niggas could sell you a dream bro that's but that's what i'm saying but but you know what it is bro you don't want me to be, want me to be fr- frankly yes, honest with you is, yeah, i'll be frankly honest yeah. with you bro good dick make a bitch crazy bro that's all it is bro you fuck a bitch right she gonna do what she gonna think whatever you want her to think she gonna do whatever you want to do like it's fucked up but that's what it is no, you, there's good dick not, and there's niggas with money and some niggas got, got both. both that's but, a dangerous motherfucker but yes <laughs> yes yes like, but I'm talking about like, like men, like men will will most likely are more likely to not get in a situation based on who the woman is. But but women are not. not oh, the same. I see what you say. Well, nigga, like, nah, I can't get that pregnant, bro. That's she got what, four kids already. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that bitch, that's she a porn star. Put it this way. Put it this way. All right. You let's say let's say you, let's say you um you're walking in the valley. Mm-hmm. You see a snake from a distance, right? And it's like yo. I know it's a snake, but hold on. I ain't even never seen a snake like that. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm curious. You get close to the snake. Fifteen hundred likes? You right. get you you and you get bit by the snake. Whose fault is it? Is it the snake for being a snake or you for getting close to the snake? Mm. You already you already knew what they was about beforehand. Damn. You feel me? You gonna let yourself get close enough to be manipulated. Damn. You feel me? Yeah. That's that's all I'm 100%. saying. Like you like you put yourself in a situation. Now now it's now, now you have a war on men, and now niggas ain't shit. No, no, no. <laughs> you feel me? Now, now yeah. it's a war on all men. Like, sure. Nah, you're right. You like you saw it. Like you right. saw everything. You went out with Southside, got pregnant. You could have wait. Is it Southside or London on the track? London on the track. I, I thought it was Southside. Nah, London on the it's track. London the nigga made an album bad. with. My bad. My bad. My, my bad. bad. Southside. Bad, Southside. No need to make you innocent, uh, Boston. Yeah, and yeah, that. Yeah, you you caught a couple shots. My bad, gang. My he bad. do got like eighteen kids. Though. Shout yeah. out to Southside. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that, Southside. Got, that, that feel me? But yeah, shout, shout out to both of them. But I'm, but I'm just Southside saying. Southside got the uh, city girl. He was with the city girl. One of the city girls. Uh, that's why you sure? confused. Yes, he was with Young Miami before Diddy. Facts. Okay. 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 That's what. Okay. That's what. I'm not. I'm not really tuned into. Celebrity gossip and shit like that. Right, right, right. So like, but 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 what I'm saying is, you put yourself in a in situation to to allow yourself to get bit. Yeah, you feel me? You gonna blame the snake for being a snake? You gonna blame the ancient nigga for being ain't shit? Yeah, you he told you he was ain't shit before. Right, right, right. You feel me? And it's not his fault. I mean, obviously he has to take some accountability, but he don't. He wasn't shit before that. He won't. He won't be shit after you. Yeah, you feel me? It's fucked up, man. And and, and men are like, oh no, nah, I can't do that. Yeah, men, men are like, women give men the benefit of that when they don't. When but they niggas, don't deserve. But it. niggas do dabble. Most niggas will dabble. Oh, they, they, <laughs> niggas will dabble. <laughs> niggas will dabble. But, but um, it, it's 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 just uh yeah. yeah Zion, that, I mean, <laughs> yeah, Zion. But listen, we gonna see what's going on, man. Hopefully, listen. All I'm hoping is Zion. I hope you have a boy. I hope you got you a future NBA player. <laughs> Shorty, get ready to cash in. What's tw- it's 2023 right now. Uh. 20, 2041, I'll see you at the draft, shorty. <laughs> Listen to me. It's fucking lit. It's been a free jazz yeah. podcast, man. <laughs> Episode 69. Shout out to Episode Zion Wilson. 69. Shout out to the porn star dream that got pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Big yeah. big ups to you. You know what I'm saying? You a fucking nah, she winner. Won. She, She's a she, fucking she winner. Life. Male or she, woman. She's fucking she, she, she lit. She That's what I do now. She won. She won. She's up. Yeah. She's a lottery. <laughs> yeah. Nah, she they don't do give a fuck what that kid looks like. It's fucking lit, nigga. Because Zion is one ugly motherfucker, but that's neither here nor there, man. Nah, but yeah, but like you said, you know, you can tell Zion's a good kid. Me. Yeah, exactly. Zion, I think he's gonna Zion, be fine. Zion, Zion, you can tell Zion was. What, we was haven't the heard quiet nothing kid. from him, but he getting some pussy. There ain't nothing yeah, wrong with there's that. There's nothing. You know what I'm saying? At least he ain't flashing guns. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to John Morant though. And, we, and, we'll, uh, we'll see you next season, and, like in like February uh, uh, or some uh, shit. Uh, allegedly, the Pelicans <laughs> try to trade him. That's what I hear. Ooh, so we gonna talk about trades and all that next week, man. But listen. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, yeah, man. Yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Happy belated Father's Day and all that. Absolutely. Happy belated Juneteenth. We uh we'll be back on Sunday, man. Appreciate y'all and um. We are we gone. We out of here. We gone. <laughs> Appreciate y'all, man. Thank you.